gentlemen, spread across the globe. Welcome to all of you. Now, I would like to discuss with you all a concept which was put forward by the evolutionary biologist Sir Charles Darwin some 200 years before. This discussion is taken from the book by name Philosin, which I have authored in the year 2013. In this book, Volume 1 of Philosin, which stands for the philosophical aspect of medicine, it's an e-learning module by which I believe we will be able to impart medical and health education to the school children using ancient texts which are authored by great saints some 2000 to 2500 years before this date can be used and they can be deciphered as per the scientific acumen gained by the human race at the 21st century and that will be able to give us insights into the great thoughts that prevailed some 20 to 25 centuries before this day. So let me come to the point now. Sir Charles Darwin has mentioned in one, in one of his books a very beautiful fact. The fact is there is a constant war or constant fight or constant suppression or constant agitation between the species because all the species in this world have evolved from one single species and most probably that could be the amoeba which we have learned in our school days from the amoeba all the organisms have evolved over a millions of years time as all organisms have evolved from one single source of life it forms a tree of life and there is a constant struggle between the various branches in the tree of life one organism tries to subdue or tries to belittle another organism the war of suppression and the war of relieving oneself is constantly going on in nature the point which i would like you to ponder in this video is sir charles darwin made a mention about language it may be surprising to us a man who is well known for his evolutionary concepts has something to state about literature has something to state about languages what is the point which he tried to say let me narrate to you now as all the species have evolved from one single source of life as that could be the reason for the constant turmoil between the organisms all the languages in this world have evolved from one single language as we can make a tree of life we can also make a tree of language and we can go to the root and if that could be obtained we can reach we can decipher the base and the fundamental language which gave rise to all the languages in the world this is what the linguistic scholars were breaking their heads and using all their intellectual acumen for the past many decades the point which sir charles darwin has expressed is there is a constant struggle for life and a survival of the fittest natural selection all these concepts were occurring constantly in nature among the organisms and the species which are the better the shorter the easier will thrive the species which are not better which are not shorter which are not easier will not thrive this is what he said he also extrapolated his beliefs and ideas into the realm of language and he mentions that between the languages there is again a struggle one language trying to suppress another language one language trying to belittle another language is nothing but a natural phenomena and among these languages the language which is the better which is the shorter which is the easier will automatically thrive and will succeed the language which is not easier which is not shorter and which is not the better one will not thrive it may sound harsh but this is how nature is designed this thought process of comparing a single origin of language and a single origin of life and then comparing both of them and taking a formula from the survival and the concepts which surrounds species onto language is an intellectual thought process which was done by Sir Charles Darwin. We need to uh, respect his uh, cognitive capability. At the same time, let me draw the attention of the ladies and gentlemen from all around the world towards a person 
who has done the same thought process some 18 centuries before Sir Charles Darwin that is 2000 years before in India a Tamil speaking poet who is widely regarded as a saint by name Thiruvalluvar has mentioned in his Thirukkural in the first couplet he is drawing parallels to language and life he mentions Agara Mudala Yeluttallam Adi Bhagavan Mudatre Ulag which means all the languages in this world are derived from one single language and all the life forms in this world were derived from one single life form what a great thought process is this Thiruvalluva has gone through the same thought process as travelled by Sir Charles Darwin Thiruvalluva has thought of the single origin of language and life Charles Darwin has thought about the single origin of life and language so the philosophy module allows us to compare two great cognitive resources of humanity one sir charles darwin who lived 200 years before and saint thiruvalluvar who lived 2000 years before both of them have thought about the single origin of life and single origin of language this single origin concept is something which is extremely beautiful and extremely intelligent and it is that which makes us look with respect and gratitude these two great men separated by 18 centuries Sir Charles Darwin and Saint Thiruvalluvar so to summarize this talk the thought process of comparing living organisms and living language has been prevalent in the cognitive apparatus of Sir Charles Darwin and Saint Thiruvalluvar both of them were talking about the same ideology same concept same theme and they were separated by 1800 years what a great thing it is to explore the ancient intellectual acumen using the modern scientific principles and concepts Sir Charles Darwin goes one step further and he gives one more beautiful input he says this war between the languages is not existent only between the language it is also within the language if you have a, a thousand to two thousand words in a language among these words there will be a war some words will win and some words will be defeated those words which win if you go back and look what was the attribute which made them to win they would have been the better word they would have been the easier word and they would have been the shorter word and if you could go back and see the words which were defeated it would be easy for you to appreciate that the defeated words would have been not the better words not the shorter words and not the easier words one more step Sir Charles Darwin goes further and says this war is not only between the languages it is not only between the words in the languages it is also between the literary works in the language and now what a beautiful experience it is to understand that Saint Thiruvalluvar has penned his Thirukkural in such a beautiful format that it is only seven words each couplet in Thirukkural is only seven words and he has used the best of the words in the word selection process if you could take a Thirukkural and if you could try to replace the words with another word you will never be satisfied the word arrangement in Thirukkural is in the most perfect order it is easier to memorize the Thirukkural it is easier to write it is easier to explain it is a poem which can be sent by short text message system through a cell phone what a great process it is a man sits back 2000 years before and makes a poem which can be sent as an SMS in a cell phone cell phones were invented within the last two or three decades and Thirukkural was written 2000 years before and, to, and the Thirukkural can be accommodated into a technology which was extremely new to human society people have never thought of having a cell phone but Thirukkural can be accommodated into the cell phone what a great thing today the Tamil youngsters were able to receive and were able to send the Thirukkural because it is written in such a way if you could take it to the school children and you could 
give them 10 or 20 Thirukkurals and ask them to memorize, they do it with great ease. It's all possible because Thiruvallava has used the formula of making his book the easier, the better, the shorter. A formula which was unveiled to the world by Sir Charles Darwin some 200 years before was virtually used in practice, was virtually employed in existence by Thiruvallur some 2000 years before. Now it is all open to us. Are we going to be extremely astonished by the intelligence of Sir Charles Darwin or by the greatness of Saint Thiruvallur? It is a great feeling to see that Thirukkural was written based upon the principles of natural selection. Probably this could be the first ever literary work in humanity by human race to be written based upon the principle of natural selection. And that has naturally selected Thirukkural to be the most popular and the most vibrant of all the literary works by the Dravidians. Thirukkural has been translated into very many languages in the world. Recently, the French government has introduced the concept of writing Thirukkural in local trains. Thank you for your listening. Nandri.